Hi there everyone, this is Keshava Mysore here. This time I am reviewing the images that I took with Arsenal a week or so ago. These are the same images that I talk about in this blog here. Recently, Arsenal contacted me regarding my latest blog and wanted more feedback. So I thought I can go through the images that I obtained by using Arsenal app or device and talk about them in more detail. Regarding my setup, I use an Nikon D750 to mount and run Arsenal. The app runs on an iPhone 5S. All the images were taken with a Nikon AF Nikkor 24-85mm f2.8-4D to d IF lens. The Arsenal device was controlled with the app version 8.47. For all the images, I also have the basic metadata displayed on top left side of the image and the histogram displayed on the right side of the image. All the images taken by Arsenal or written to SD card as JPEG plus RAW. There is one exception to this and I will talk about it later. So let's get started. Now the basis for our comparison of how well the arsenal works is the camera auto mode image. Here is the image. The initial look suggests there are a lot of highlights that need to be recovered. Let us see how arsenal performs in this scenario. I won't be talking about the app functioning in the present video. If possible, we'll try to make one. But briefly, there are three different focusing modes within Arsenal app. The single point focus, the multi point focus and the whole scene focus modes. Let us start with image from the single point focus. The image is slightly better than the in-camera auto mode. There is significant recovery of the highlights in the architecture but there are more details and highlights that could be recovered. The sharpness is comparable in both the images. One can say it is slightly sharper than the auto image. Note that it was partly cloudy day but yet the image looks a bit cooler could have been a bit warmer. Let us check the multi-point focus image. In multi-point focus option, Arsenal can focus up to four points. In the present image, I have used all four of them on the dome and spire in both reflection and the real ones. There is a significant recovery of the highlights and details in comparison with both the camera auto image and Arsenal single point focus image. I did see a few people posting slightly oversaturated images from Arsenal. That's not the case here. If anything, it could have been a bit more saturated. Sharpness is at best with what my camera lens combination can do. Again, this could have been slightly warmer. But I am largely satisfied with this. The last of focus modes is the whole scene focus mode. Let us see how does that compares with others. In comparison with the four point focus, the highlight recovery in the architectural structures is slightly better. While the trees are not a good comparison, but I feel they were sharper in the four point focus mode. The sky looks just fine and again, this could have been slightly warmer. So in summary, the smart mode in three different combinations seems to be working reasonably well. The images are sharp for what my camera lens combination can achieve. Highlights and shadows were well balanced. However, the white balance could do better. Of all the three, four point focus seems to do the best job. One of the main features that was very attractive to me and to many others is the various bracketing and stacking modes built into Arsenal app and device. As per creators, Arsenal in combination with smart mode can do exposure bracketing or also HDR, focus stacking and long exposure blending in device and write back a DNG file into the SD card. It can do this in two ways. It can decide on its own if any of this is needed for a particular scene also called auto mode by Arsenal or one can set specific parameters and take images and it will perform the merging slash stacking and will provide us with a DNG file written to the SD card. But note, as of now, the auto mode is working only in the exposure bracketing mode and user specific stacking works in all three, but it is not yet writing them back to SD card as a DNG file. It provides us in app a PNG file that can either be saved to your camera roll or shared on social media. First. Let us check the auto mode of exposure bracketing or exposure stacking as Arsenal calls it. I have tried this various time and as far as I can say, it has never decided to take multiple shots in this mode. This could be due to A, it was not needed or B, the Arsenal is not yet able to write back the DNG file into the SD card and so not taking a multiple exposure when needed. I am fine with the judgment as I feel the present scenario was not very complex and didn't need multiple exposure for exposing shadows and highlights. Let us check the image. I think there is a slight reduction in the image sharpness 
and also a bit more highlights could be recovered. Just a note here that this image was taken with whole scene focus mode. Now, let us see how does it performs with user set exposure bracketing. I used three image exposure bracketing with minus one, zero, and plus one exposure compensation. Here are the individual images. Here is the merged PNG file. It took approximately 30 to 60 seconds to finish the task. Since we can't compare apples and oranges until a DNG file is returned back to the SD card, I have some general comments. One, I feel this merge is slightly underexposed. More shadows could have been recovered. And also, I feel there is a slight decrease in the sharpness. Of course, I understand that commenting on sharpness is difficult as this is not a high-res image. Like all previous images, this could have been a bit warmer. Now, let us check the focus stacking feature. In the present scenario, I asked it to stack four images and used the whole scene mode to shoot. It took around 120 to 150 seconds, that is more than two minutes, to perform the stacking operation. I hope this can be improved significantly in the future. Here are the individual images to start with. Now the final stacked image. Again, this is a PNG file, so the resolution is less, so one can only comment that much about it. But my main issue here is, it is not stacking the images well in the corners. The center seems to be fine, but the building in the corner seems to be a bit ghosted, and it has other issues that I mentioned earlier. The last stacking option that is available is the long exposure blending. This is a good option if you want to shoot a long exposure and you don't want to spend a lot of money on filters, filter systems, etc. But the limit here is it can only shoot up to 30 images and stack them in device. I did try it with 10 and 30 images. The 10 image stack took between two to three minutes and the 30 image stack took more than four minutes to finish stacking and also crashed in between. I will only show the stack obtained from 30 image stack. Again, like other stacking options, this is a PNG file. It is doing what it is supposed to do. The water is smooth and the clouds show some motion. I can't comment on other aspects of the image as it is a low-res image, even though I did with other similar images. With this, I will finish my review. So, what are my specific recommendations for now to Arsenal? 1. Improve the speed of smart mode shooting. Right now, it is taking between 2 to 10 seconds to shoot one picture. 2. Improve speeds of multi-point and whole scene focus modes. Right now, both take around 2 minutes to achieve 4-point focus or whole scene focus. 3. The speed of their various stacking options must improve significantly. Presently, it is taking anywhere between 2 to 5 minutes and maybe more. 4. Focus stacking should avoid any ghosting, especially of stationary objects. 5. Improve communication between app and device when app is performing stacking. 6. When reviewing the image, it is better if it takes us to the gallery rather than latest image. And a last suggestion that would be helpful to many others is to make better demo videos of how the app works, how the device works, and how to use it in general. That would be very helpful to everyone. That's all for now. Have a great day ahead. Bye.